Today's recipe is an ultra moist, simple homey cake where gorgeous tangy sweet slices of peach take the center stage. This is the kind of vegan cake you would want to bring to a potluck or to keep all to yourself for a slice of summer sunshine at the cusp of winter. Peach season is still a few months away and when it does come this cornucopia is one that is always short-lived as summer fruits quickly come out of season within a couple of months. Ripened under the Californian sun, clean stone peaches are preserved and put up for the winter or year-round abundance. They are such a versatile ingredient that we've been enjoying many a treats all throughout the colder month, like the peach field crepes that we shared a few weeks ago. For convenience, we are using pre-sliced peaches today. If you're using peach halves, slice them thickly and keep aside. The California Clingstone peaches that we get here in Canada are canned in their own juice or other fruit juices with no added sugar or preservatives. Hence, I'm using the flavorsome syrup from the can as a sweetener in this peach cake. Not only does the peach infused syrup impart additional ambrosial peachy notes to the cake, but it delivers a dessert that is naturally sweetened. You'll find the ingredients and a full printable recipe on our website. I've left the link in the description below the video. Set the oven to preheat at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. In a large mixing bowl, add the flowers, coconut flakes if using, cornstarch, baking powder, baking soda, salt and vanilla powder. Whisk all the dry ingredients together. Make a well in the center. Add all the peach syrup followed by the rest of the wet ingredients. This cake is intentionally not overly sweet as it is complemented with a copious helping of custard sauce. However, if you plan to enjoy the cake on its own, then I suggest you replace half or more of the light syrup with something sweeter like maple syrup or other liquid sweetener. You may also reduce the peach syrup by a few spoonfuls and dissolve in some sugar to make a sweeter syrup. In any case, keep the same volume of syrup as is called for in the recipe. Mix the wet and the dry ingredients together until a thick batter is obtained. Then pour the batter into a round pan lined with parchment paper or greased and floured. Spread it evenly into the pan. Place the peach slices on top by gently pushing them in, in a circular pattern or any way you like. Now place in the preheated oven. The baking time will depend on your oven. Generally, it requires about 35 to 40 minutes. For best results, bake for 20 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then lower the temperature to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit and continue to bake for another 15 to 20 minutes. Remove from the oven and test with a toothpick or skewer. If it comes out clean, the cake is done. Allow the cake to completely cool in the pan before demolding. Dust with icing sugar for a rustic feel, slice and serve with a generous helping of custard sauce. 
Sometimes we make life harder than it has to be in an attempt to be more sophisticated or elegant. It doesn't have to be this way. The beauty of this peach cake lies in its simplicity. Undemanding and calling for simple ingredients, this mellow kind of cake is one that you can serve on any evening. Or if you're like us, you might even enjoy it for breakfast. Dimpled in the tender moist cake texture and drenched in heavenly golden custard sauce, each sun ripened morsel of peach speaks of summer. Exquisite. If you're making this cake, don't forget to tag us on Instagram or post a picture on our Facebook page. Give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this recipe and leave us a comment. We love reading them. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. You can also subscribe to our newsletter. We'll send you an email when we have a new recipe or an announcement. Check the description under the video for the link to the printable recipe and the custard sauce recipe. I'll catch you in our next video. Bye!